Welcome back to the Hockey Shop Source of Sports. We're down here in Goldie Utopia, surrounded by the latest and greatest in goaltending gear. All the top brands, all the top models, all the best pricing, including some discounts. Black Friday is coming up and they've been rolling those out. Make sure you not only check out all their social media, check them out at the website, thehockeyshop.com, but sub subscribe to their email newsletter as well, Cam, because there'll be specials coming out that way that'll give you a... You don't need to tell me, I'm already subscribed. But you, you, all your email addresses? Not all. Yeah, he's got a few, <laughs> he's, he's got a few burner accounts. We'll get into those a little later. Uh, but make sure you're you're checking them out. Uh, honestly, on a daily basis from now through Black Friday because there will be new specials posted ongoing. Uh, lots of great deals on past models. Um, but today we're going to focus on something new. We're going to continue, actually wrap up our chest protector series uh, with a, a look at the Vaughn Velocity V9 Pro Carbon model that they stock here at the, the Hockey Shop Source for Sports. And I guess the first question we're going to have is, why do I have no arms? No, folks. Um, the theory was this might be the new NHL sizing limits. Uh, just joking, Kay. Um, that you know, we would just have to go out there like this. And in my case, there's not much to it. Cam, there's got to be a reason you gave me a chest unit and you have arms. Explain it to us. So one of my favorite pieces out of this Vaughn chest and something brand new from Vaughn in particular is Velcro adjustable arms. Something that we have not had previously in Vaughn chest. We've um, seen it in other ones. We have. We yes. saw. We've seen it recently. We talked about the the Brian's optic. Um, this is new though for Vaughn. First ever time. Yes. Yes. Especially in why it is so groundbreaking is uh, a lot of times on Vaughn chest to macro adjust it. We would have to literally soap in the arms with our wizard Cecil upstairs in our sharpening department. Uh, would have to stitch them in to be a little bit shorter to dial in someone that maybe needed a medium body with or a large body with medium arms in particular. Now this is something that we can uh, adjust on the fly. Um, okay, before we get into it, I got a little call time out because you're talking about Cecil and the Wizards. As we talk about Wizards, I, is this November? I gotta ask, or is like, did you forget to shave like the Harry Potter wizard for Halloween? Well, Harry Potter wizard, I'll, I'll leave it to a late great singer artist who is no longer with us. That's what I was paying homage to. Oh, so this was a Halloween costume. Well, for whatever Halloween was this year. And is you got a November account, or at least can do something positive for that. And you've seen it up on uh, up on our THS goal. Yes, we have a, have a picture of me in November, and I believe uh, even uh, I think we linked it uh, to a uh, donation site with November as well. Okay, we'll make sure we get you. The I'm link. piggybacking off of someone this year. I don't have my own November page. I am. And of course, you know, someone else's. as we do with the gear, we, we got to remember we're doing the podcast and the simulcast of the video. So everyone's like, what is Woodley talking about? I'm talking about the really bad handlebar mustache that Cam Matt Whip has on right now for our podcast listeners. Okay, I'm going to let you continue now telling me why this is such a great step for Vaughn to have the removable arms in this V9 um, pro carbon velocity chest protector. So straight up adjustability, once again, um, very easy, uh, easily connected arm, uh, lots of Velcro travel with it. Um, and it just basically goes on like a sleeve. So if this is the entire reason for those that can't see, I'm just wearing the arms independently right now. And Kevin's just wearing the body of the unit in particular. Um, a good bread and butter for Vaughn always has been is um, ease of movement in the arms in particular. Um, I can easily move around. Obviously, I don't have them attached to the chest, but I have a great degree of flexibility right off the bat in particular. Um, something we've done previously in Vaughn units, we've done our own THS spec. Um, so the hockey shop spec. Exactly. This is first time in a while, and kudos to Vaughn, that we felt that the chest protector, the arms, actually feel um, beefed up in a stock unit in particular. So you didn't have to order a special spec beefed up unit for the hockey shop. You felt they'd, they'd come far enough in terms of protection for the arm that you don't need that. Yes, but we still believe that our colors are better, so we did better. So this is custom, custom colors. Very stylish. I should have worn my red hat this week. I forgot it. That's too bad, but that's okay. So moving around the unit itself, quite a few other things have changed even from the last uh, uh, Velocity unit, the VE8 in particular. 
So not only were we talking about the arms, the floaters have been updated, much more substantial in terms of the, the coverage and feel out of it in particular, um, without sacrificing. Because let's be honest, like when we talk about what a chest protector is, that different brands are known for different coverage, mobility, and some are a little stiffer out of the box. You just need to give them a little time. Vaughn's always been about mobility. Correct. And as we talked about with the protection, it was a unit that I think a lot of people, you just expected to feel maybe a few more pucks on the arms before. It sounds like they've taken steps to solve that, but not at the expense of the mobility you're talking about with the arms. A exactly, exactly. So again, still very easily, you know, mobile. But they've kind of focused on being able to dial in a couple of the other pieces of the unit as well. Um, the shoulder floaters in particular have gone through quite a big change for Vaughn. They still have their classic pad that's underneath that puffs up the shoulders in particular. It's a buffer removable pad. But the way that they've actually designed the unit this year is that that entire shoulder can be pushed upwards or brought in to make a more of a tapered fit. So if you're looking for more of a raised presence inside the net, you can reset the shoulder floater and I'll have it pop up and puff up some like their classic units like V5, V6 in particular. Uh, or if you want to get a little bit more of that rounded shape to go along with, you know, even the classic V8 V8 unit in particular, um, you can bulk that down a little bit more to have it uh, sit a little bit more tapered on your body in particular. What are the, some of the other features? What are the, some of the feedback that you're getting on this unit? Again, anything that sort of separates it from, from Vaughn units of the past and our expectations for them? Uh, so far, e again, ease of adjustment, which we have already covered kind of extensively. That mobility level is already fantastic out of the box. Um, they've gotten rid of the plastic clips along the side and gone with the Velcro adjustment in particular. Again, with the goal of having that good, nice tight fit wrap, but not having to worry about, you know, blasting that uh, plastic buckle to get that air in shot. All right. Anything we're missing on the Vaughn V9 Pro Carbon Chest Protector Count? Good, lightweight unit, hand-built in Canada. You know the qualities there. It's Vaughn stable for quite a long time. If you're looking for mobility, but a little bit of a snugger fit, and potentially a tapered fit, or if you're looking to even beef up, especially your shoulder presence, look no further than this guy right here. Vaughn V9 Pro Carbon. Thanks, Cam. Make sure you check them out at the Hockey Shop, thehockeyshop.com. And Cam, where can they get you if they've got questions about fit? My kid is growing, he's in between sizes. How much adjustability is in the arms? Am I looking at a medium? Am I looking at a large? Am I looking like Kevin Woodley and I want to go extra large because he needs to mix in a salad and because he wants to cheat as much as possible? If they want to get a hold of you and ask those types of really important questions, where can they get you? You can find the 1 800 number down here. Or you can give me a call at 604-589-8299. Hutch, you're really going to have to help me out with that 1-800 number right here. Movie magic. I didn't know what else to say. <laughs>